Hello, uh, welcome to this tutorial. It's about WebSocket uh, setup in .NET Core 2. I referred this pe uh, web page to do this tutorial. So let's start. Okay, I'm gonna uh, create a new uh, web API project using .NET Core 2. Uh, now we need to install the uh, nuget package uh, asp.net core web sockets third one Okay, so I'm going to create a new uh, folder for all the classes uh, related to the WebSocket connection management and uh, the middleware and all that. Actually, uh, the code in the blog uh, that I showed earlier, it's not uh, very complicated, but uh, the way uh, he implemented it is the most uh, important thing. So try to understand that one. I'm just gonna uh, copy paste uh, all, all the code uh, from my uh, other project which I am referring now to create this video This class here is uh, responsible for storing the connected web sockets. Uh, to store it, it uses a concurrent dictionary that uh, we just created now. Uh, when storing, uh, we generate a unique ID for that uh, for each web sockets. So we can uniquely identify them. And uh, I'm not going to uh, not going into too much detail uh, since this is not a complicated code to understand. I hope you can understand this code. And Next, uh, I'm going to implement the uh, WebSocket handler abstract class, uh, which handles the WebSocket connect, disconnect, receive, and send uh, events. And using this class, uh, we can create many handlers. Uh, think that uh, you need separate WebSocket endpoints in your application for client-to-client -client chat handling and group chat handling. So uh, you can create two classes for it and implement this class. So in this way, uh, we don't need to repeat our code. Okay. Uh, next, I'm gonna implement uh, the middleware. Uh, to identify a WebSocket connection and accept it and then call the relevant method in WebSocket handler class.
now um, i'm implementing the extension class uh, that we'll use in the project startup class Now uh, I'm going to create a class uh, that implements the WebSocket handler abstract class that we created earlier. You can uh, get the client's messages like this and I'm going to echo it back to the all the clients that are connected. Next, uh, we need to call the extension class method in the startup class. As you can see, uh, I have created a point called chat to accept the sockets. Think that um, 
you need another endpoint for some another task then you need to create a new class for that that uh, implements a websocket handle abstract class so imagine that you create a class called b that implements the websocket handle abstract class then you need to call the app.map websocket manager method again with a new endpoint name which is look like slash chat uh, in here and the handler class b uh, that you create as the input so that's all that's all you need to do uh, to create a new endpoint in here uh, what i'm trying to uh, do is uh, send a broadcast broadcast message to all the clients that are connected to the chat endpoint using websocket uh, when a request come to this controller I have uh, installed a simple WebSocket client extension to test the implementation. And you can see that uh, it's broad, uh, broadcasting the message that I sent. Uh, when I reload this page, uh, it uh, all the clients should get the message uh, "Hello" from controller. So you can see that it's working. And thanks for watching this uh, tutorial. Have a nice day.